No, no. What's impressive is cleaving a man's spine without lopping the head clean off. That takes aim. Did that once. My case was an accident, and I still wake up some nights feeling bad for him. Okay, so, um, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity with Trax 2. Um, so, last episode we, uh, defended our right to have our stronghold, which presumably means that we're going to have to go and actually stab the guy in the face. Um, this time we're actually headed over here to Crucible, oops, Crucible Keep to retrieve a piece of armor for someone who... Name I can't remember. It's been a couple of days since I've recorded. Uh, Rogue Knight. Rogue Knight. Uh, Osric was kicked. Uh, okay, Osric wants his um, family breastplate back, so. Basically, we're headed here to see if we can get our hands on it, or get our hands on some proof. Um, we do sort of need to be better known here in. Um, this place, Defiance Bay, because we need to do that in order to get the records for what's his face. Like I said, it's been several days and I can't remember. Um, Ader, right. So, what business brings you to the keep? Welcome. Aldmar gives you an appraising eye. Judging by the scars on his face, he's lucky to be able to do that much. Every day we get more from the hinterlands pouring into Defiance Bay. It keeps us busy on the watch, it does. Looks like you've recently arrived yourself. Who are you? A soldier of the Crucible Knights and proud of it. I help keep everything running at the keep so that Commander Cliver, Cleaver can focus on more important matters. Looking for something? I'm just not going to do to dirt off your boots. Blah, I can't talk this morning. What goes on in Crucible Keep? The Crucible things. This is the headquarters of the Crucible Knights, so it's where we store arms and armor, as well as where many of our soldiers bunk. Commander Cleaver's in the back, making plans, as usual. He scratches a scar cheek. You'll find the forge at the west end of the building, along with our master smith, Dunstan. There's also a shrine to the golem, if you're the praying type. Tell me about the Crucible Knights. We're the defenders of Defiance Bay. Of Defiance Bay. Blah. Excuse me. We're not exactly a formal knighthood, but don't tell Commander Cleaver I said that. He grins. We were the first organized militia to oppose Idrin rule, and today we're the largest force in the city. Our soldiers undergo years of combat training, and our officers are required to have their souls read by that critter out in Dunrid Row. What's this about Dunrid Row? Just a requirement of the Crucible Knights, so the higher-ups know there's nothing messy built in your soul's past. Aldmar widens his stance. Keeping your ranks pure is fine by me. I just wish they were more careful in hiring their ciphers. What's wrong with their ciphers? He shifts his weight and glances at the empty halls. They're mostly Orlans. I'm sure they're talented enough, but you can't trust them. You just can't trust them. Hostility's in their nature, and they've learned to hide it over the years. He frowns and creases his arms. All I'm saying is they should at least be supervised by other folk. That's reasonable enough, isn't it? Uh, if people treated them better, you wouldn't have to worry about them being so hostile. Aldmer shrugs. I'm just speaking the truth. Nowadays, it seems that's the biggest crime of all. That's everything. Alright, so, come over here. Oh, uh, turn off super fast mode. Uh, through here, there's not ri there's one barrel in here, but it's stealing, so. Alright, here. No, it's just campfire supplies, which I don't You're need anyway. Watcher. Yeah. I need to see if there's any... Uh, dude, new map discovered, Crucible Keep. New location discovered, Crucible, or uh, Forge. If this is about the breastplates, I already told Cleaver they won't be repaired till next week. Hmm. This is Dunstan. He's the um, forge forge master. Uh, what do you do here? I'm a forge master. I'm a master smith for the Crucible Knights. But the way I see it, I'm also keeping up with our old traditions. The first members of our order were smiths. Nowadays, most everyone's a professional soldier. I suppose it's to be expected. But I think it's important we keep up with our roots, too. I agree. But tell me about we the knights. We were all smiths back in Hodrit's day. Though I'm about the only one here who still gets his hands dirty. We're a fearsome fighting force. Though these days, I think Cleaver takes more pride in our parade formations. Uh, yeah, that sort of happens. He thinks himself a progressive, a progressive man, but he's obsessed with soul lineages and connections to the Deerwoods heroes of old. Other than... Dunrid Row, who really knows about any of that, though? Apparently I do, because I'm good at it. Uh, 
the grieving mother's expression as she looks at Dunstan as somewhere between amusement and pity. Both live in a past of their own imagining. What purpose does it serve when so much depends on actions n on action depends on action now? Okay, goodbye. What's this? Tongues of flame lick at the forge, hissing with smoke as hot as a dragon's breath. Cool. Uh, basically, there's tools on the wall. Uh, I think I think we should go this way. Nice. What's in here? Looks like barracks. Ah, yep, barracks. Yay me. Uh, anything else in interesting in here? Thick grime cakes at the bottom of the tub. Towel hanging off the side gives an awful sense. Okay, bathroom. I don't know what else I expected, but there you go. It's a dining room. This looks like a hall of records. Welcome to one hall of records. Uh, some of these are stealing. Although, if we say run over here, we can actually look at the book as long as we don't take it. The Blacksmith Knights. Short history of the Knights of the Crucible. If the blacksmith fails, the armor fails. The armor fails, the soldier falls. Ulrun Sanhead, first guildmaster of the Knights of the Crucible. Knights of the Crucible have one of the most fascinating and rich histories in all of Eora, currently holding... Okay, I'm going to slowly scroll through this. And if you would like to read it, you can't. You can pause it, but I'm not going to read the whole thing. Uh, now, if we come here... Henhelm's Affidavit. Curran, a cipher duly appointed and employed by Dunrid Row, does hereby certify that novitiate A.M. Penhelm has been found to have a soul free of any subversive influences or tainted essence. Scroll stamped with the seal of Dunrid Row and signed by both Penhelm and Curran. Right. Quest updated Rogue Knight. Ah! I didn't know you realize you could click that. Uh, Osric was, kick was kicked out of the Crucible Knights by a fellow na knight named Penhelm. Worse, his superiors confiscated a breastplate, breastplate that's been in his family for generations. Osric has asked me to retrieve a breastplate from Penhelm. He believes his rival might have a forged document from Dunrid Row verifying the purity of his soul. If I can prove Dunhelm's forgery, I may have some leverage to get the breastplate back. Aha! So, our next stop will be Dunrid Row as soon as we finish finding everything there is to find about this place. Uh, the reason, incidentally, that I have been away is my power supply started to fail and um as it the fans were breaking and as it got oh you know what, we'll go back in there a second that's the training room um uh, and this is the what is this oh this okay basically religious tenants. Uh, there's a shrine here, a shrine of Abaddon, although I'm not certain. I'm certain that there's something to be done with that later, but for now, uh, don't, now I do, like I said, I've played this part before, and then, but no I didn't. I played this part a little bit before, and then had a my whole computer shut down because there's a power supply going out. We need to deal with Heritage Hill. Okay. Just this year, gaze flicks over to you briefly before t returning to the novitiates gathered in the training area. If this is about patrols, my novitiates are already stretched to their limit. Between the refugee influx and the mess at Heritage Hill, I simply don't have any units to spare. After pause, she looks over at you again. I'm sorry, was there something else you need? Something wrong at Heritage Hill? She lowers her voice. What's wrong isn't the real question. A whole district of walking, flesh-eating corpses. We sealed the area two months ago, just after I lost one of my finest commanders there. And yet, this is the second guard rotation to disappear. There are already enough rumors about the place floating around the keep without my soldiers whispering about these disappearances. She shakes her head. I'd just as soon abandon the district, but if those monsters should find a way out... I can look into it. She steps back and regards you. After what I've just told you, you want to go to Heritage Hill. I've lost trained soldiers there. Why should I let anyone in? If people are dis... <laughs> yep, that's a little bit little bit more bravado than I'm really up to waving, but uh, if people are disappearing, someone's got to figure out what's happening to them. If you're so eager to rush to your death, I won't stop you. She quietly looks on at the novitiates, and if you're somehow able to put a stop to this, 
You've got my permission to enter Heritage Hill. I'll send word to the guards at the gate. Tell me about the place. It used to be one of the most pre prestigious districts in Defiance Bay, but a few months ago the residents all went mad. Started eating each other, and anything else that had the bad luck to wander into the district. Never seen anything like it. Now, every novitiate that stands guard there, everyone that comes back anyway, talks of the stench of the grave and the groans of unspeakable horrors. She holds up one plate-clad finger. The why and the how are questions for the animancers. I've sealed the district in hopes of containing whatever happened there. It seems to be working. For now. Uh, what do you do here? He asks, stupidly. I'm in charge of the keeps novitiates. I'm responsible for their training and patrol assignments. She nods at the group gathered in the training room. They're good soldiers, and they've been quick to, adap quick to adapt to new challenges. Farewell. So, we now have to go to Heritage Hill and fight the zombies. I say zombies, and it's probably not entirely fair, but at the same time, it walks, it moans, it eats, eats people, it's a zombie. Um, where's the door? There we go. This formation is not well suited to interior, to maneuvering in interiors. I'm still trying to figure out how to do the Parable of Whale. If anybody know, if anybody has played this and knows, please, please let me know. I'm sort of lost on how to do that, and uh, I have learned many things. And foremost among them is, do not make librarians angry at you. It it just doesn't go well. All right, Temple of Wodica, Andra's gift, Violin Embassy, Heritage. Uh, well, let, let's not go to Heritage. Heritage Hill just yet. Let's see if we can find Dunrid Row first. Once hallowed ground for Woodica's faithful. I wonder how long it's been abandoned. Um, that did definitely did not sound like the grieving mother. Uh, hang on, let's go over here. This looks like it might be. Hello. Ah, a spirit. Praise, Praise to the exiled queen. May her crown be restored and her justice prevail. Whoa. Come to pay your respects to the queen that was. <clears throat> a ghost hovers in the middle of the ruin, reciting blessings and prayers. Even as the spirit's form shifts and swirls, it retains the face of an elderly man and robes that mark wealth and status. It turns to you. Uh, who are you? Lord Ardwellen Rugform the Third, and pleased to make your acquaintance. I came to the Deerwood on one of the first ships from Adia, and unlike the yokels and hut dwellers around here, I still keep to the old ways. It's truly a pity to see what the locals have done to Wodoka's house of worship. I was told I'd find the Temple of Wodica here. And so you did. These savage colonists may have burned it down, but worship of the Oathbinder is alive and well. These stairs lead to the main sanctum. Uh, what stairs? These stairs, of course. The sanctum was always below ground, adjacent to the catacombs, so it wasn't destroyed by the fires. Uh, tell me where I'd find an entrance to the catacombs. There are various entrances throughout Defiance Bay, but I dare say the easiest to reach is in Copper Lane. I haven't been to that part of town in ages, but as I recall, it's somewhere near the southern gate. Ah, uh, thank you. So, are you feeling... Triax, are you feeling okay? Did you catch alcoholism from the Deerwoodens? His smile turns nervous as he looks you over, examining if you were signs of injury. You are off in your own little dream for a moment. What's going on with you? Oh, don't worry about him. He just likes doing that from time to time. Seems to cheer him up, so I just let him. <laughs> Once you've seen it a few times, the shock wears off. Every time he goes a little strange in the face, I try and see if I can hear anything. Kano grins. It hasn't worked so far. See if you can get him to tell you what the spirit said. <laughs> oh, these are... <laughs> these guys are hilarious. Uh... Um... 
I'm not sure. Let's go there. I'm not really sure where I find Dunrid Row. Uh, presumably, it's somewhere in Defiance Bay. I mean, I doubt they would make them go want go for a long wander away. But uh, well, you know, this is an adventure game or an RPG, so making your noble knights trek several million miles. Does music sound different to you when your ears, or well, ear? Is another shape? Yes, I find it unpleasant. Most everything seems shrill when I'm a Stalegar. Maybe your keen senses just haven't heard truly fine music yet. A masterfully crafted annoyance is still an annoyance. Ha <laughs> ha! I like this guy, whose name I'm not even gonna try and pronounce again. Uh, let's see, what do we got? All right, hang on. We got Colfix House, Abandoned House, Otta's House, Abandoned House. Heritage Hill, a violent trading company, Ramshackle House, and Lighthouse. Oh, and a Salty Mast. I can't resist a name like the Salty Mast. Where's the door? Ha. Ah. Come on, let's uh, investigate the local tavern. Uh, now, there's a couple of abandoned houses here. We're going to end up going into those. We don't just can't just wander right in. Oops. Grab his person, go. Uh, oh, look, the Thieves Guild. Uh, can we do anything to help this chap? Uh, hello. Man's, this man's fancy clothes are ripped, and his blood flows from a per fresh cut above his eye. He tries to push himself up, but his arm is shaking. He winces painfully. Help him up. Thank you, my head. Uh, I can't believe they just attacked you in the middle of the street. Neither can I. He slowly stretches out one leg, grimacing at his scraped knee. It's a rough part of town, but the rabble's, rabble's never been violent. Even a night with equality isn't worth this. He limps away. Uh, okay. Uh, I may have missed out on the quest by not asking if I should chase them down and teach them a lesson, but it's alright. Uh... Right. So, uh, I dare you to ask how much it would cost for two ladies at once. Nothing like this in Gilded Vale. Just Wallaroon of the milkmaid. She knew what she was doing. Over ah. fried cod, watered ale, and prostitution. A bastion of dear wooden culture. I hope you aren't expecting to find the leaden key in here. This place, it stills your mind and distracts you. Is that everybody? Thank you. At once. I'm willing to calculate with a giant cat. If the answer is less than a thousand pand, I'm in. Okay. Um. Captain Pepperjack. I like that name. Uh. Okay. You see the prow of a ship slice through the deck of another, a violent spice vessel, and are immediately accosted by splintering wood and panic. The pirates are upon the ship in the space of a shout, all elbows, gold earrings, and violence. Crewmen are hurled, shoved, and punched off the deck as the dog-eared captain boards. The hunt begins immediately as water begins to claim the wounded merchant vessel. The larger cargo boxes are ignored entirely, in fa favor of the smaller, more delicate boxes and jars. The captain stands, water snarling around his ankles, as he waits for each of his crew to return to the ship with their plunder. Counting them off, he takes a running jump and grabs the railing, hauling himself aboard as the remains of the merchant vessel are devoured by the ocean below. The crew applauds, raucous cheers and laughter as they begin to sort through the valuable violent spices. The Fancington would eat well tonight. Okay. Uh, somebody said hello. Who is it? Ah, you. Okay. Hail and well met. Uh, the Alma woman watches you suspiciously. One hand is tensed at her side, but as you approach, she relaxes and gives you a friendly, if weary, smile. Don't see many outfitted like you who aren't looking for trouble. You aren't looking for trouble, are you? What kind of trouble are you having? The kind that's bad for business. Local rowdies have taken to harassing my hard-working boys and girls, and our customers. They started showing up after this rash of Holoborn, and they've been driving my regulars away. She looks you up and down. Scratching her chin. I've been looking for someone to help me clean things up around here. The knights are too busy sniffing around Duke Avar to bother with us commoners in the gift, and I'd just as soon not deal with their bureaucracy anyway. Uh. 
tell me how I can help. These thugs tend to roam in groups, which suggests to me that these aren't random incidents. You put a stop to these attacks, and I'll find a real nice way to thank you. She winks, got me. Um, if she means to bake us something, my vote's for cookies. <laughs> ah, I got some questions. What do you know about these attacks? You only have to step outside to see it for yourself. Those thugs out there are just waiting to cause trouble for anyone coming or going. She sizes you up. Maybe they would have let you pass, however. Uh huh. I'll see what I can find. Find and confront the thugs. It, by, by which it means find them and stab them in the face. Got it. I can do that. Subtlety, I has it. Uh, rather, I should say subtlety, I am a master of it. Now, hopefully, this. I'm, tr I'm actually trying to record this with OBS Studio rather than OBS. And I'm hoping that it's behaving itself properly. Oh, that's the noble we've helped. Uh, violet Sailors. Ah, what have we here? Another tourist in the gift. He nods to shifty-eyed companions. Let's give him a proper welcome. Ah, let's talk this through. I'm afraid you're missing the point. Okay. You really are not very smart, are you? Um, he wants to talk, but we... Uh, why don't we kill those guys first? Um, can you please not... What? Alright, fine. What else have we got? Uh, here. You look annoying. Have some... Yes? Artillery. And you I want you to knock him over, and you can no can knock him over. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, make with the stabbing. You should be no. Yes. Make with the shooting. You the make with the hitting. I think I hit the D. Ow. Hey, hey, hey. That's the other way around. I'm supposed to knock you over. Can you... Uh, blast these two idiots? Yeah, I know this is gonna hurt us, but it'll hurt them more. There we go. Um, wow. Oops. I don't even know where that went. Uh, right. Try knocking him over again. And give him another plow. <laughs> ah, got it. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Can we all focus on that guy, please? Uh, you. Oops. I think we just cheesed off the noble. Uh. Here, blast him. Ow. Right, we got another one. Would you just... What superpowers do you have? Uh... Okay. There. Charm him. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that wasn't quite what I was... Uh... Alright, some gold. A rusty bronze key. Uh... Can we... Why is there no take-all button? Oh, there's the take-all button. At end at its flying demand. Street thugs are harassing prostitutes and clients at the Salty Mast. Maya, the proprietress, would like to put an end to it. But the agitators have their own grievances. Uh, one of the thugs dropped a key. It looks like it belongs to a house in Andra's gift. Okay. Um, let's try this one. Since it, No. Can we please... Uh, what is the grab everyone key? Select the hall. There we go. Backspace. That's the key. And we'll 
sprint over here. I didn't actually mean to kill the noble. I don't know what caused him to come back. God's damn that son of a fool. The angry woman clenches her jaw and stares out toward the harbor with glimmering golden eyes. Eventually sensing her presence, she turns her feathered head towards you. Want to run a down on its luck, valiant trading company? If you have more than half a brain, you could really do something with it. She clenches her jaw and continues quietly. As long as you're willing to clean up a few bloodstains. Do you need help with something? The woman stares at you for a long moment before nictating membranes slide across her eyes. She, so she's blinking at us. Haha, ha, very funny. Do you want to help? Sure. Go into that warehouse and ask for a man named Verzano. When you find him, throw him in a sack, throw the sack in a crate, and put the crate on a boat headed to Ancenze. Or the bottom of the Pearlwood Gulf. Either's fine with me. She seems to be having a problem. Woman looks back at the warehouse for a moment and grimaces. After a slight nod in your direction, she storms off. Okay then. Um. Hi. Right. Can we? We'll get. We'll sack that guy soon. Couldn't get in. They said I wasn't refined or prestigious enough for the club. Unlock with rusty bronze key. Uh, wow! I managed to pick the exact right house. Uh, map's helpful. Let's try more stabbing. Uh, there's only three of you. Afer. Okay. Uh, let's save the game. This one might run a touch long. Just because. Hello! You don't look like one of the knights. Can I help you with something? I hear about the trouble with the salty mast. Ordinary kith are angry, as they should be with that crooked Almo toadying up to the nobles. She's using the tragedy of Wideone's legacy to line her pockets. She's no better than better than the Idrin overlords we drove out 200 years ago. Okay. Maya's made it so only the rich can afford her establishment, yet she sits in the poorest district of Defiant Bay. How's that right? Uh, we've taken matters into our own hands, but she's the real criminal here. Why don't you tell her to back down? That's a good point. I'll see if I can get her to lower her prices. Glad you're glad to see, glad you see our side. Okay. I really hope I don't have to fight a whole brothel, and if I do, I'm just gonna roll back and stab those three people, three people instead. These ways in which your character interacts with people uh, in dialogues, even the more subtle ones, will tend to coalesce into a reputation. As your fame expands, some characters will interact differently as a result. This is a very long region. Alright, everybody book it over here, please. I suspect May is, uh, doesn't, doesn't quite realize that she's um, antagonized as many people as she has. Oh, we should talk to Eater in, in a second. Strange place for a shrine to Abidon, Crucible Keep. Maybe it made more sense at some point before it gathered all that dust. The only thing the Knights of the Crucible worship these days is the nobility, as far as I understand it. I knew some soldiers who got recruited by the Knights after the war was over. They told me some about it. They get these young kids in there, and they tell them about blacksmithing and about the revolution and about tradition. They talk about the Golem like he created the Crucible Knights in his forge to go win Deerwood's independence. Then they join, and it turns out all any of those knights ever talks about is when are we going to get recognized as a real knighthood? When are we getting our titles and our land? Their high justice wants to be an earl. Says it's Abaddon's will. He's got a castle and an army. You wonder how long he'll wait before he starts a war over it, saying Abaddon told him to. And, no and the nobles will respond that their god told them that they're the only true nobles. The trouble with having all these gods is you've got to support... Is you've got support no matter how dumb your ideas are. Maybe we had the right idea of blowing some of them up, less of them to hide behind. Yeah. I'm here. Uh, all right, in the door to talk to the uh, madam of the house. Right. Okay. Hello. Always good to have a few more warm bodies in here. Any progress with those thugs? Wanted to talk to you about that. Here, you've been raising prices. What else am I supposed to do? 
I have to provide certain measures for my employees and their clients, especially with so many hollowborn in the district. And with the price of bitter squash as high as it is, I've got no choice but to raise mine. She taps your chest with a finger. And you don't get me started on cutthroat business, not with the dominoes carrying on the way they do. I could talk to the dominoes about their bitter squash prices. She raises her arms. It's your neck. Your canted dominoe would be the easiest to persuade. She handles the family books. With any luck, you can find her in their mantle... Find her at their manor over in Brackenberry. Just watch your step around her. Watch your step around all of them. Right. Uh, goodbye. Okay, so now we need to go and bitter squash, which I presume is a contraceptive. Of course. All right, let's all get ourselves all nice and situated, and in the next episode, we will go and talk about some squash. Uh, this has been Trice 2. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.